So today's a huge day. Today is post and girder day. And I've actually been kind of dreading this day because this is where it comes if I laid this thing out right. <laughs> and if it's not laid out right, we're in trouble because the concrete's already poured, the holes are already dug, that's it. So we're gonna put post bases in, we're gonna put some posts up, we're gonna put some girders up, get everything um, where it needs to go, ready for trusses. Let's get started. Yeah, if this thing is wrong, I'm not drawing it in SketchUp again. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> First things first, we got the big tape out. We're gonna go ahead and just pull numbers again, just to make sure that everything's where it's supposed to be. So pull some diagonals, and then we're gonna pull out and lay out where our post bases are gonna go, 12 foot on center, just to make sure it's what it's supposed to be. So here, you can have the, with the smart end or the dumb end? Uh, it's too early. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and so it begins. Hopefully this turns out easier than digging the holes. You know it sucks? But Is the last thing I was doing yesterday? Freaking joist hangers. I don't need joist hanger nails. <laughs> this is what was in my pouch. Why couldn't we have been doing something with like galvies or screws or something? My pouch would have been filled with that, but no. Yeah, where are those GRKs? I know. I got a couple in there. I should have loaded up, dude. Oh, remember I got a whole bunch of screws that I stole from, I mean, I got from Perkins. Oh, yeah. So we're good to go right there, baby. The first productive thing we got done today was laying out and attaching the post brackets. Not only did we attach it with expansion anchors, but we also put some tap cons in it. Okay, so we were sent this pretty sweet laser level here by Kaiweeds, Kaiweeds. Yeah, we probably should have looked it up Kiweeds, first, but. Anyway, you can see right there the name of it. So we kind of used this on the cabinets. We got it about like halfway through and we tested it out, it worked pretty good, but we're gonna use this to shoot a laser line so that we can get all of our posts at the correct level, right? Do you know what you want? Yeah, right height, yeah, so, daddy. We're gonna try this out, see how it works. Okay, let's give it a roll. Of course it took a second for Jason and I to wrap our minds around the mass involved. So with the laser, we established that this footing is the highest point of the structure. And I want this to be where we're gonna measure from because I want to have the most space above the ground to get the camper in. So if we take this one, it measures 37, boom. So we're gonna take, make this post 15.4. Now, if we go to this one, this one measures 36 and 3 8 So we're 5 8 difference. So all we're gonna do is take that 15.4 and we're gonna add 5 8 to it, and that's gonna be the same height. Over here, we'll do the same thing. Whatever the difference is, we'll add that to the 15.4, boom all the way around and that way all the tops of all the posts will then be the same. Now that we know that we can make our first measurement 15.4, it was time to gather the material and start cutting our first post to the correct length. We also notched out the area where our double 2x12 girders were going to rest. Well. <laughs> well, <laughs> here's post number one. Yeah. If it's not, that's a $75 screw up. But. I mean, I think it's right, dude. 15.4 is the top. That's where the um, the trusses are gonna sit. Our band's gonna sit down in there, double band, three inches. Dude. Yeah. I mean, we're second guessing ourselves. We do this every day. We know what we're doing. We're yeah, good. All we're, right, let's get some scaffolding set up. We don't really do this every day. We <laughs> usually do what Eric and Jamie tell us to do every day. But that's because they, we just haven't spread our wings to fly yet. It's, we're flying on this one, we're flying. Right, we need some scaffolding. I guess it's best to test whether or not we were capable of spreading our wings and flying on something of Jason's rather than mine. So we put the first post up, braced it level, and secured it with screws into the brackets at the bottom. The first one was such a blast that we decided to keep on doing it to the rest of them. And before you know it, one side was completely done. No hiccups or screw-ups, that we know of at least. Either way, we're moving to the next side. We're using the same laser line that we did for the tall posts for the shorter posts. So these holes are dug down deep. So all I did again is I took my measurement up to my laser line, took that and subtracted it from the number from the 52 over there, which was 22 and a half on this one. We added that to the length of the post. That would give us the top of these posts, but 
These posts are three foot shorter, so all we did is subtract three foot from that, and that will give us the top of these posts three foot down from those posts. Yeah, it's a lot of mass. <laughs> it's a lot of mass. And uh, mass don't lie, as you know, so thank God Jones is here because he's the math guy. So I think we got it right, so we're just gonna do three foot down from that. Bang, 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 and then uh, we'll put some girders up. The thing about math is that if you don't have the right numbers to start out with, it doesn't matter how right you do it, it's wrong. But we'll get to that later. And what is this? <laughs> it's a little trick my daddy Arlo taught me. Arlo's your dad? Oh, he could be. So anyways, so what we're doing here is I'm putting some galvanized nails in the part of the post that's gonna be inside the hole. So what happens is when the concrete forms around this now, it's actually gonna form around these nails, these galvanized nails, and this will help it from ever coming loose inside the concrete or being picked up out of the concrete. So it'll just kind of hold the hold the post down in the concrete a little better. Yeah, at least that's what Arlo says. That's what Arlo says. I, it could be full of crap, I don't even know, but we figure two seconds, banging some nails and see what happens. If Arlo says it works, it works. So we got our first post in on the other side and then our second. Looks like Nana's getting ready for snowmageddon. Dude, it's not gonna snow. She's out there <laughs> freaking loading wood. <laughs> Uh, Look at outside, snowmageddon. I think she's expecting to be shut in for about a week. It's <laughs> like her she... fifth trailer load of wood. Dude, she's a horse, not a horse, I can't say that. <laughs> she's a beast. Dude, she works her butt off. She just made Dude, us lunch. Why didn't she come out here and help us stand these posts? Yeah. Yo, you got so much energy, why didn't you help us stand up these posts? I'm doing another job. Oh, she's got, oh. <laughs> no. um, Sounds like Jono. Her I'm job. doing another job. Your job's way more important. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> One thing that I want to talk about is that, remember when we were digging these holes, we ran into my water line. I've kept these covered with some hay uh, while uh, we were waiting to pour concrete so it didn't freeze, but what I did is I bought this expandable foam stuff. I guess not expandable, but squishy foam stuff. And what I was gonna do is I was gonna wrap the pipe in this. That way when the concrete goes around it, it gives it some place to expand and contract if it needs to so if the concrete moves a little bit it's not going to break my water line jason added that to the two spots where the water line was exposed and we just kept on doing our thing with the post finishing up with a bang <laughs> i got a splinter in my beard <laughs> dude it caught you <laughs> i'm like i'm all right are you all right jones he's like no i'm not all right i'm like why not <laughs> i look up and I'm like, what in the world happened? His beard stuck in the freaking wood. Oh, how many came out? None. I saved oh, them all. Nice. Good job, buddy. <laughs> well, after I got that small splinter out of my beard, then we were done. Wow, that sucked. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Mm, right. <laughs> we got it done. Though. We got it done. It's done. So next is the girder. So again, these are all 12 foot on center. So we should be able to just cut all of our girders at 12 foot. This will go flush to the outside of the first post and it will break in the middle of the second post and then middle to middle middle to end boom 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 right so we just gotta lift like all this wood just like up <laughs> yeah, here these to all these like spots two by fours now after we got those things these are nothing i wonder what a two by four would feel it like <laughs> wish jamie was here why because he would have yelled at us for putting all of our bracing on the outside because now we can't get to the girder easy. We're going to be screwing it from the back side. Yeah, I know. And if he was here, he would have told us to do it differently. But, hey, you live and learn, right? Yeah. I just don't want to ever be building one of these again. <laughs> so we took our measurement for the first girder, cut it, and put it up along with the outside one. But remember what I said about having the right numbers for math and to stay tuned? Well, that part's coming up. All right, first one up. Put that level on, Jonesy. Dude. Wait, what, dude good, dude bad, dude what? You couldn't get any better than this right here. Really? Yeah, dude. It's perfectly level with the world. Everything is good. <laughs> Question is, if the world's round. Oh, we're in trouble. You just blew my mind right there. Why is, why is it that this is working? Cut, cut, cut. Y'all know what this is, right? <laughs> yeah, this is to fix things. So, <laughs> here we go. So my original plan was 18 feet wide. And with a 212 pitch, that made these 12 and that side 15. Perfect. Well, then I made it 20 feet wide. 
which made those posts 15-4 to keep my t same 212 pitch. When we were doing our maths <laughs> to figure out the height of these posts, I only subtracted three feet off of there, which is incorrect. It should be three foot four inches off of these to get these to the same height as those. So these are actually too high. Yeah. So what we need to do is <laughs> we only put two po two beams up. Right, we caught it early, so. So we're gonna take these girders off. We're gonna measure down four inches from our notches, notch out four more inches, put these back up, and then just saws all the top of it off flush. Yeah. Boom. At least we caught it now, because you know when if we would have never caught it, it and then we would have got your trusses, yeah, and realized that all everything was wrong, it would have sucked. Yeah. So we had our first hiccup, but not only was it good that we caught the mistake now, it was good that the posts were cut long instead of short. I guess one way to make it work with the trusses Jason already ordered would have been to cut four inches off the taller posts if we had cut these posts shorter rather than longer. Easy fix though. Once we had that side fixed, we went ahead and put in all the girders for the rest of that side, making sure to cut the notch four inches lower on each post. Now it was time for the final side. I just walked right into that freaking board. I wish I got it on camera. <laughs> so we moved the scaffolding over and got set up for the other side. Since this side was much taller, we had to add another buck as well. Let's just be a little honest here. Yeah. Neither one of us have ever built anything like this Never. on our own. Never. I mean, I've built like a deck at my old house, but it's kind of like a deck. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I talked to Jamie tons of times. He said this is the way he would build it. Yeah. Maybe not his way, but he said it's a way to build it. He said it's a way to build it. Exactly. I talked to Arlo. I think we're good. I mean, with our, you know, many years of experience. Yeah, four. That's the other thing I think I don't think people really realize is that you've only worked for the Perkins for four years. Yeah. And I've only worked for them for three. Yeah. I had zero experience <laughs> other than in painting. I'll let yours. <laughs> well. We'll see if I come back next week. Despite our lack of experience, we like to think we're pretty sharp. I mean, the Perkins seem to keep us around for some reason. Check out Jason down there in his natural element. Look at the way he measures that board with such accuracy. And that cut he's making with such precision. And don't even get me started about the brute strength that this man has. Is there anything he doesn't lack? You know what makes me feel like a real man? What's that? I have a big 12 in your pouch. I don't know what it is. Just something about it, yeah. bro. It's like, yeah, I'm a man. Dude, what is your dog doing all the way over there? That's not my dog. That's a goat. It's my, <laughs> it's my neighbor's goat. Wait. And you keep calling it Haley. It's name's Haley. Haley! See, he ain't even looking at you. That's because it's not his name. His name's Peppy. Peppy? I don't know. It's something like that. I still believe that was Jason's dog but he didn't seem to care. Either way, we had to get back to work. We were making our way down the home stretch with just a few more girders to put up. Haley, get off the picnic table. Bro, does your dog not have any respect? <laughs> My dog does, that goat, zero. It's that not goat a goat, crap. dude. It's a goat. That's a dog. Oh, I'm gonna lay down. Whoa. Oh, good peppy. Oh, good peppy. I'm done caring about Jason's dog. At least I tried. Dude, that was a lot of work. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. That sucked. Yeah. <laughs> we needed... Usually we have six guys yeah. <laughs> doing it. We need a Jono. <laughs> we do need Jono's muscle. But hey, you know what? We got it done. We had a little hiccup with that uh, the height on those small ones, but we fixed it, we overcame, got it done, got both in there, and now we're just ready for uh, the trusses. Jason at Pro Truss is uh, putting them together now. We'll get them shipped out here, and uh, that'll be the next episode. Stay yeah. tuned. And you forgot to mention the part about a crane. Oh. Like, we got a crane coming. <laughs> yeah, I got right. a crane coming. Yeah, I, I, I called the company. I think it was called Ray Jones uh, Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> That's our crane company, Ray Jones. RJ Incorporated. <laughs> RJ Cranes is what it's called.